peaked. Are there any remaining rabbits that he could pull out? I suspect not. I, I think uh, George Osborne's made it pretty clear that uh, any gifts that he does give in this uh, autumn statement are, uh, are ultimately going to have to be paid for. So um, I think it's going to be relatively balanced. There's still a chance that he might bring something out, else out, um, a headline-grabbing uh, act, as it were. But uh, to be honest, most of this is, seems to be well publicised. And how's the market going to react? We, we, we seem to be in this risk-off mentality anyway right now. Um, is, is there going to be much for the market? Maybe not. I, I think um, so much of this has already been signposted, as it were. The leaks have been pretty uh, uh, prevalent. Um, so I guess uh, markets should really carry on with focusing what they've been focusing on for a while. Uh, in fairness, when we look at some of these indices, like the DAX, for instance, uh, a natural correction really was in order. They'd, they'd hit a number of highs in, in, uh, in succession. Maybe the FTSE is a little bit more uh, circumspect with its enthusiasm, as we always tend to be. Uh, but uh, there was a, a natural uh, need for a bit of a correction, possibly, anyway. Chances are um, Bank of England results going to come out whilst Osborne's still talking. Um, mm. Are we going to hear anything from Carney on Sterling? I'm sure he'll talk about it. Uh, I'm sure this is something they're going to be monitoring. Um, and obviously, um, the improving economic picture for the UK has um, seen the, um, the pound uh, sort of rally into, uh, into the uh, tail end of the year. That being said, though, I think we will see uh, some sort of uh, US tapering um, uh, in 2014. I think the markets will be factoring that in. We'll certainly see the US dollar potentially strengthen on the back of that. And that might be the natural um, flip side to uh, easing enthusiasm as far as sterling's concerned. So uh, I'd be surprised if they take any direct a action. I'm sure they're watching it. I suspect they'll say they're watching it, but uh, for the time being, I don't think they'll do anything. All right. Um, ECB, um, inflation clearly the focus. Um, mm. what, what was it? 0.7 in October. It's up to 0.9 now. Is that improvement enough for them not to do anything for the time being? Well, uh, it's an improvement. Um, whether they really want to do something or not is a different question. Certainly, as far as the interest rate situation is concerned, uh, I'd be um, very disappointed if they felt the need to do anything else with, with that. They have so little wiggle room there that they really should leave it as is. Um, they talked about other measures. It'll be interesting to see if they bring any of those to the table. I think the economic picture in Europe is, is a little bleaker than it is for the UK, even though um, uh, there's a recovery going on. You have to see the, the French data that's been coming out really does start to worry you that France is going to slip back into recession. Mm. There's a number of issues they haven't properly tackled their uh, union strengths, um, lack of factory uh, productivity, uh, etc. And um, it, it begins to worry the markets. That being said, we're watching the uh, sovereign debt markets. We haven't seen the yields really um, change too aggressively there yet, but I, I think it's one definitely to monitor. Will Draghi mention France, do you think? be interesting to see if he does. I, I suspect he probably wouldn't want to raise the subject. It'll be interesting to see if it's brought to the table, though, and he has to address it.